and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to pop in and just have a chat to you today about my knitting and sewing bits that I've been working on. Um, and I'm joining you today all the way from the UK and I've got a lovely cup of tea in my new Barton Croft mug. I'll give you a quick close look of that. These speckles are so beautiful. I bought this mug a couple of weekends ago at the West Collective. They did an artisanal pop-up fair in Brentford and this was one of the little bits that I got. I also got a copy of 91 magazine because they were there so it was really nice um, to see Caroline, the editor there. And I missed my friend Kath. She was working on the store, Kath Weber. She does lots of lovely knitting and crochet bits over on Instagram. I followed her for quite a while. She was actually the person that... Um, told me about the fair because I saw a post that she put up with the little flyer so yeah it was really nice I had a lovely time just seeing all the bits that were on display there they had a few people doing some lovely ceramics but I got chatting to Lorena who was the maker behind the company and yeah I just she was really sweet and lovely and I wanted to support her shop so I went back and got one of her lovely mugs so I think I'll get started and I'll tell you about my exciting project. My Lucinda sweater is finished. So I'm really excited because this has been on the needles for about a year. And I've got two finished sleeves, haven't woven in my ends yet. But I'm going to do that next. So actually maybe I'll weave in all my ends and give it a good block and then I could come back and maybe show you what it looks like on. I love the, the little v-neck at the back. It's a really, really nice detail. And it's got... um. Yes, yeah, so it's got the V at the back and the front, and these long ribbed cuffs. I'll give you that lovely close up. So you can see the Luma yarn that I used from the Fiber Company is knit up really nicely. This is the um, Lucinda sweater by Carrie Bostick Hogue. That if you've been watching my other episodes, you'll see I've shown this a couple of times. But I'm really, really happy to have that off the needles because I think it's going to be a lovely sweater to wear when I go to um, going to the Creativity Festival um, at Hillview Farm. That's only in a couple of weeks, so I feel like although we're having really hot weather here in the UK, but um, if it's cool in the evenings, it might be nice to wear this around the campfire. So that's a really, really lovely project to finished and. Um, I don't know why it took me so long. I think I was really worried that it wasn't going to fit. I was worried that the v-necks were not going to be sort of in the right place and it wasn't going to be fluttering because it was bottom up. I couldn't try it on as I went. But actually it turned out to be fine. So as soon as I had finished the body, um, yeah, I just flew doing the sleeves and you pick up and do a little bit of a neck edging. But that didn't take very long at all. So it really came together quickly. As soon as I saw that it was going to be a lovely fit, I really made an effort to get that finished and yeah now I'm ready I've got my needles free to do another sweater cast on so I'll be having a look on my Ravelry queue seeing what's next so that was a lovely project and now um, while we're talking about knitting I'll show you another I've got this in one of my um, project bags I'll give you a little look at that that's one of my drawstring bags that I sell in my shop There'll be a little link below if you want to have a look. I'll be um, doing an update. It'll probably, this video will probably go out on the Saturday. So I think it'll be on the Sunday there'll be an update. And I'll have some more of those bags. Actually, if anyone's been looking for the sweater sacks, which are the bigger ones, I never seem to make enough of those in my updates. So if that's something you want, one of the big sweater bags, um, maybe you'd want to like drop me an email or put a note in the comments below just so I know that that's something you're looking for. And I'll try and make enough this time because they always sell out really quickly. Um, I never seem to quite gauge the right number to make. So yeah, pop a little note in the comments below or drop me an email if you'd like me to do some more of those but I'm not supposed to be talking about the bags I'm supposed to be telling you about my lovely knit I've started doing the shawl that I was telling you about on the last podcast this is the beginnings of a pebble beach shawl knit in Woolly Mammoth Fibre Co um, it's a lovely BFL mash and blend I think it's showing really nicely actually the colour it's a lovely um, sort of heathered pinky purple it's really beautiful it's a lovely woolly woolly yarn but it's not scratchy at all but it's got a lovely rustic feel. So I'm really, really enjoying this. It's Obviously you can see it's very early beginning stages. <laughs> so there's not very much to see, but it's a lovely crescent shaped shawl by Helen Stewart of Curious Handmade. 
so I have one of these in a really nice yellow silky um, it's the Westminster yarn from Kettle Yarn Co and I reach for that shawl all the time it's a little small crescent shape that's just lovely to wrap around but I think this will um, go nicely with my with my sweater that was the plan to have like a little shawl that I could wrap around because it's got the V at the back I thought it'd be nice to have something just that goes really nicely colour wise to just pop around my neck when I'm working that sort of thing so yeah that's a lovely lovely project to be working on it's lots of nice stockinette rows and then a few eyelets thrown in I actually got the pattern I've got it here I'll show you you can see that's the um that's what it'll look like when it's finished and this was the um pattern that came free with wow this is 2014 it says it was that unwind festival that they had in Brighton yeah back in 2014 so it's really really nice to be working on that again it's not very nice there's something squished on my poor book <laughs> I don't know what that is but it looks a bit yucky I have to give maybe I'll just pull out the pages of my book I hadn't noticed that before because I just had it I've just had it um sort of to the page that I was working on so showing you the cover really there's something yucky in there oh well can't do anything about that now I'll have a sip of my tea and I won't think about that anymore I've got I think that's all I've got for knitting at the moment I've got um I haven't got loads to show you today but I thought I'll give you a quick peek I'm doing the um my own, uh how do you say it? it's the myo myosotis that's it <laughs> myosotis the myosotis deer and dre deer and doe dress oh can't get my words out i am <laughs> and i'm not knitting it am i i'm sewing i'm sewing the meiosis no <laughs> the myosotis deer and doe dress so you can see it this isn't the actual dress this is just a twirl that i've been working at but i thought it might be interesting for you to see how i actually do my twirls because or I think some people call them a muslin but basically it's like a test garment that you do to check the fit and you can see like I've basically just cut out the top which is the part that's fitted the skirt's just gallop, gathered rectangle so I haven't done the skirt portion and I haven't added like the button bands or anything all I've done is taken the most basic part of the top and I've attached one of the sleeves I've sewn in the darts on the front and the back um, and I actually just tried it on, checked the fit, I realised that I wanted to shorten the sleeves so you can see that I've just pinned those to the length that I want. I think you can see inside how much is turned up, I'm taking off a couple of inches there and I've actually moved the darts, so I think it's the darts on this side are the correct side, I've raised those by an inch or well, I think it might have even only been half an inch but I just raised those to get better fit and when, basically when I'm making a twirl or a muslin I always just use a really large long stitch probably one of the longest that I have on my machine it's about number four I think um, so it's really easy if you do something and it's not quite the way you want it it's really easy to just quickly rip out and redo a seam so yeah on one of the sides I took the darts out and re-sewed those but yeah, there's really no need to do both sides. Um, so I haven't, as you see, bothered to do the other side of the sleeve. But just to check the fit, it's really, really nice to gauge it before you cut into your main fabric. So yeah, so that's um, what I'm working on at the moment. I haven't got a fabric for that yet. Um, my friend Claire, um, Sister Mountain, she's on Instagram. You might know her because she's a knitwear designer and I also do some work with her at the Fibre Company. She was wearing this dress in a really beautiful sort of olive green um, linen, which was beautiful. But I actually fancy doing it in something like a really maybe floaty, drapey sort of fabric. I think it would be a really nice summer dress. So I'm working on that. Maybe I'll have a little bit more progress or I'll have bought some fabric when I see you next. So that's what I have for sewing. And while we're talking about sewing, I've got one more really exciting thing that I wanted to tell you. I'm going to be a little bit of a show off because I am in Simply Sewing Magazine this month. So I had an email from Michelle 
at Simply Sewing, asking if I'd like to be featured in the magazine and have a little mini profile done on me. So she interviewed me for the magazine and you can see it's got some pictures of my beautiful bags. Can you see that? Yeah, I think it was reflecting a bit before. But yeah, she's done a really, really lovely interview on me and I was very, very flattered to have been featured. But if you'd like to get a copy of the magazine, it's actually a really lovely magazine. I don't buy a lot of sewing um, magazines, but it's got some really nice projects for summer. Like they've got these really lovely like picnic blankets that you can do. And it actually comes with two, I've got them just here, comes with two sewing patterns. So there's the Lola dress and this beach bag, which are cool. But yeah, if you were interested in having a little read on my mini profile, um, you can still get the magazine. They have it. Um, they have all the digital copies online. So if you're outside the UK and you can't get it, this is issue forty four, and you'll find it in the Apple Store. They have it in the newsstand. They um, yeah, they have simply sewing. So that's a lovely thing to be featured in a magazine. I was really really excited about that. I, I almost thought it wasn't going to happen because um, they contacted me quite a while ago and I've been looking at the recent issues and I hadn't seen it in there so I was really excited when this dropped through the post and there was a picture of me in there so thank you for Michelle for getting in touch with me and doing a little feature on me. I'm very flattered and I hope that anybody who does read it finds it interesting. They've sort of talked a little bit about my background and how I design and make the bags in my shop so that's it for today I just only had a little few things to show you um yeah hopefully next time when I pop in I'll be able to show you how my Lucinda sweater looks on I'm gonna get that um blocked and get all my ends woven in and I'll see you next time thanks so much for stopping by and watching and I'll speak to you soon Welcome back. I just wanted to pop in and do a really quick video because it's absolutely boiling today so this is going to be super speedy but I did say that I'd come back and show you my Lucinda sweater once it was all ends woven in and off the blocking board. So here's my sweater. I'll stand back so you can see a full length look. Um, it's a really really lovely sort of loose, it's got like a sort of swingy A-line shape and lovely three quarter length sleeves which I really like. Um, I like that it's got sort of like a kind of unusual detail that it's got quite long ribbed cuffs um, and it's got like a drop shoulder, a drop shoulder shape and this really lovely, see if we can get in a bit closer so you can see, that's got a beautiful finish. It's just like a really, really um, shallow v-neck and it's got the same on the back if you can see that where it's got nice little dip at the back as well. So yeah, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I think I've said in a few of my videos that I was struggling a little bit to get this finished. I don't know why I, I sped through the body and then it took me forever to get this last sort of top finished. And But as soon as I'd actually done the tricky bit of, well, it wasn't even tricky, but just the bit where I was trying to find the bit in the patterns, had to look at kind of each row, make sure I was doing the right, um, sort of line by line instructions to get this v-neck and just needed a little bit of concentration but once I'd done that I was really quick at doing the sleeves and it's come together really quickly and I'm yeah I'm so pleased with how it how it turned out so yeah I don't know there's much more to say about that I think all the details I've mentioned before about the yarn it's Luma from the fibre company in the grigio colour and the patterns 
Lucinda by um, it's Madda, Madda Maid, and that's Carrie Bostick Hogue. And she wrote a book, um, I think it was called, let me have a look because I've got it here. Oh, yeah, it's Anthology. This, book. this was the one, I've got it on my bookshelf here. That Anthology, Simple Pleasures 2. And this was the book that I took the pattern from. So, yeah, but all the details are obviously below. I think I've probably said before, but there's a link to all the show notes down below this video if you're watching on YouTube. Um, and I have all of the notes on my blog. You can find me at alexcollinsdesigns.com. And also, if you'd like, I actually send out an email every time one of these videos goes live. I pop a video to my subscribers who've signed up to my show notes list which you can find below this video. So if you'd like to get the show notes straight to your inbox um, and be notified every time I post a video to YouTube, yeah, you could sign up below. Um, there's probably not much more to say. If you want to um, get any of my bags, I'm gonna do an update on Sunday. So I'm gonna have some of my big sweater sacks and all my drawstring bags will be back in stock. So I know some of you have been waiting. So hopefully you won't have to wait too much longer if you check out the shop on Sunday. Um, I'm not sure, I think I might have said that wrong before, but it's going to be Sunday at 8pm UK time. So yeah, it would be lovely to see if you want to pop by the shop and if you've got any questions about anything I've mentioned in my video or if you have any questions about anything in my shop, always just drop me an email. I'm always there and happy to help. I know a couple of you have actually emailed me because there were things that were in the shop that you really wanted and you didn't want to wait for the update so you've emailed me for custom orders and I'm working on them as well so everything will be shipping out next week. Now I'm gonna to have to go because it's super super hot and I'm melting in my jumper but it was really really nice to catch up with you and I'll see you probably in a couple of weeks time when I'll give you an update on what I'm working on and I'll show you um, my dress. I've actually made some progress on the dress I showed you earlier in the video. So, um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.